It was on my first visit to South Devon three years ago, to Totnes, and a trip out to Dartington Hall and the beautiful gardens in the rain, that I made my first sighting of a snake's head fritillary in the wild. Before that, I had seen them only on pictures, including um, this beautiful pencil and watercolour on paper from 1919 by a favourite artist, Charles Rennie Mackintosh. And I couldn't really believe that the plant really had this beautiful cross-hatched pattern, um, which felt to me like a very Charles Rennie Mackintosh pattern. But I discovered it's actually nature's pattern. And this poem came out of that. On first spotting a snake's head fritillary. You might have thought me crazed, crying out and running, falling to my knees in the wet grass, wildflower honouring, amazed to see the purple cross-hatched lanterns bobbing in the rain, as if the water-coloured page by Rennie Mackintosh had swelled with sap, unfolding from pale green to mauve, and rising, real and multiple, among grape hyacinths and pheasant's eye. My first fritillaries, as wonderful to me as midnight fox or unicorn. So, after all, there is wonder still. This spring has me astir, brimming with gratitude at life and being led to unexpected wonderment. And fearful too, for us and these rare shades, too little marsh left at the margins of clipped lives. In my own, I found the miraculous is small, sometimes only barely tangible, no less a miracle.